What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the microphone called Fifine K6. So first of all, I'm just going to quickly do the unboxing and see what the microphone's about, and then I'm going to do a review on what I think about the microphone. Let's jump in. So the microphones come nicely boxed from Amazon. Um, just going to quickly open it up, see what we've got inside. So we've got good packaging and in a massive box and it doesn't look too bad, it looks it looks um it looks legit really. Fire fine. Got the uh the, the logo on the front and yeah. Tells you got the barcode telling you what microphone is. We've also got that it's made in China. Some people probably think, oh, it's made in China, so it's not going to be that good. Let's not write it off yet. So far, so good with the packaging and stuff. Decent. Let's open this up. Okay. So we've got a user guide. That's all good. And then we've got the Firefine Technology card in here telling us Kind of like a care package thing, it's nice. It's like kind of like when I open up the Aston and it got all the little bits and pieces and the little trinkets and that makes you feel special. Instructions telling you what it does, what the mic's about. And straightforward instructions, dynamic vocal microphone with smooth mid frequency, cardioid pickup pattern, XLR to quarter inch mic cable, solid and durable, uh, on and off switch. It's telling you how to use it as well, like, from step one to four. Not bad. Alright, so let's see what this mic looks like. First of all, we've got the cable. Cable's looking kind of long still. So this probably be more for public speaking and stuff like that. Or some kind of event where you're just going to be talking and talking. You know, and here we have the mic, nicely packaged, feels like a nice mic, smooth, smooth finish, uh, it's got the on and off switch on there, feels quite sturdy, like quite well made, the XLR at the bottom there, on and off switch. Yeah, decent. Kind of, I like, I like how it feels. Feels quite, feels sturdy. You know, it doesn't have like a plasticky feeling, which is good. So I'm gonna plug this in now, and then see how it sounds. So I've just turned the microphone on, and first thoughts is it sounds okay. I like the sound of it, from what I can hear through my headphones. What I've noticed is I've had to push my Apollo. I've had to push the gain just to, so I can hear myself. You might struggle a little bit to get an actual decent bit of level into the microphone. So with this microphone, I'd say I'd say this microphone is, is better for public speaking, um, live gigs. So for your singer, a rapper, and on a budget, and you've had to provide the microphone then this is a good starting point because at 1999 this microphone sounds quite sounds good uh it reminds me of an sm57 one of the shore microphones and it's probably based on that being a dynamic dynamic microphone i feel like a bit of an mc like uh back in the days when i used to to rap i know some rappers like to hold the microphones like this and it seems like he's still getting a good bit of level the microphone's cool but what I've noticed is if you you have to have it kind of directed to your mouth. It's all right underneath. But then if you go to the side, it's not going to pick up anything. Well, it's not going to pick up much at all. Which isn't, which isn't a bad thing because it's a directional mic. So it, it's doing the job that it's supposed to do. My thoughts on this microphone is good mic. At 10, I'll give it a 7 just because of the price point. And I feel like it makes my voice 
sound okay. Uh, I don't know if it's the preamps that's giving it a bit of juice as well, giving it a bit of extra sauce on top. But there's no EQ on this on me talking right now. It's just a straight signal. So I want to run it through Logic Pro as well to visualize what the actual microphone's doing and if I'm hearing something different to what is actually being recorded. So that'd be interesting. So I've listened to the mic and in Logic and brought up an EQ to see what it's doing and uh, the low end's boosted a bit and it doesn't seem, it's quite sibilant as well. So for a budget mic, it's kind of expected um, for £20, 19.99. Perfect for, for doing open mic nights or just gigging. Like I said before, it's built quite well, so yeah, I, I recommend it. If you're interested in buying it, hit the link below. I'll leave a link in the description so you can purchase the, the microphone. Hope this review is helpful for you. If it is, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button so you get notified anytime I put something new up. Hit me up on Instagram if you've got any questions or you've got any suggestions for videos or anything like that. Or you just want to chop it up and connect on Instagram. Make sure you do that. And as per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Music is life. Peace.